Welcome back to the channel everyone and today is Trivia Tuesday. We will be revealing the winner of question two and we'll be giving out question number three. But first, let's reveal the answer to question number two. So who was the first player to wear number 99 in the NHL? It was Joe Lamb in the 1934-35 season for Montreal. So also, so in the 1934-35 season, the Montreal had three players wear the number 99. Joe Lamb, Desi Rocher, and Leo Bourgeau. Um, I'll throw up some information on the screen as well. So apparently number 99 used to be uh, practice jerseys, apparently. So they had them lying around everywhere. Um, so Joe's first, he, the first game was November 10th, 1934. And I believe he played against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, so the other players still hadn't joined the Montreal Canadiens yet. Um, but yeah, Joe Lamb apparently scored three goals and two assists in seven games for the Montreal Canadiens. So then on December 4th, 1934, Lamb was traded twice in the same day. First, Montreal sent his rights to Boston for cash. Then the Bruins immediately dealt him to the St. Louis Eagles for Max Kaminsky and Rocher. And then Rocher was acquired by the Canadians from Boston in a cash deal on December 8th, 1934. And he would suit up for five games with uh, Montreal. First wearing the number, 35, number 75 and then 99, uh, gaining one assist in that time. The third player to wear number 9 for the Canadians that season was defenseman Leo Bourgeau, who was acquired by Montreal on February 14th, 1935. And he suited up for four games in Montreal and he wore the numbers 12 and 99. So there you have it. So the first actual player to wear number 99 was Joe Lamb. So we did get 22 correct answers. So I will throw in all the winners into the duck race. And then from there, we'll spin the wheel. So I will see you guys for the opening of the box that the, the winner won. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's 22 entries, three minutes. And they're off. Oh. Those Acadian cards taking over the lead. Early beginning, followed by Nanafar 7 V2. Joseph E's right up there as well. And that's actually Joseph E's riding the pine. Just forgot to change his name. Oh, we got the Statue of Liberty. We got a mermaid. Got a bee. We got a doctor. I believe that's Frank's Cars and Collectibles. Nick's out to lead now with under two minutes left to go. Hockey card faction's trying to take him over. But cannot do it. Well, it looks like Rip'em All is trying to push for the lead. Can he do it? Oh, he is in the lead. With a minute and a half left to go. Some cards is trying to push him out of the lead. Nope, cannot do it. Still holding strong. Wow, rip them all, still in the lead with almost a minute left to go. Oh, our JK Retro Gaming is trying to take him over. He has just done it. Statue of Liberty is trying to make a push for the lead. But it's now taken over by Calgary Iceman. Oh. 
30 seconds. Joshua's taking over the lead for now. This is kind of where everybody's going to head to the back. Then the, the winner is going to dead out. There we go. Right now, Nick's got the lead. Nine seconds. Oh. All right, that was awesome. And Joseph E's riding the pine was second, and Hans was third. All right, now let's spin the wheel to see the, what prize you will win. And here we go. And it is 2021-22 Series 2. All right, I will go and open that up. All right, so Brandon won the box of 21-22 Series 2. So let's open that up. All right, good luck to you, sir. Hopefully we can find you a cider, a Lucas Raymond. A Perfetti. All right. So the first pack we have a retro rookie of Hendrix Lapierre. Base pack. And we have a Young Guns. Well, upside down. Not one we were looking for. Mason Gertson. We have a Green Dazzlers of Ryan Pulak. base pack and hopefully we can find something out of here and we got a canvas it's upside down and it is Tyler Toffoli he's captaining Team Canada the World Championships all right so Brandon Jensen if you can get a hold of me on Instagram let me know if you want me to ship this to you or hold on to it for now all right so now Question number three. So here it is. So, with it being playoff time, can you name me the first ever player in Stanley Cup history to be eliminated by the same opponent in three consecutive postseasons while playing for three different teams? And also, can you name me those three teams? So again, the question is, can you name me the first ever player in Stanley Cup history to be eliminated by the same opponent in three consecutive postseasons while playing for three different teams and name those three teams? So again, to be entered into this, all you have to do is be a subscriber and comment on a previous uh, video of this week. So I believe I have a 300 subscriber contest up and... Uh, the SP Authentic box number four. Also, if you haven't, please uh, enter the 300 subscriber contest. Do have some half decent prizes. It's up for grabs, so don't miss out on that. I will post a link up here for that as well. All right, just want to say thank you guys again. Hopefully, we can get some more names into these draws. Give you guys some more prizes. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.